YouTube, how's it going? The Goat House is back with another seven round NFL mock draft, doing this for every single team. But today, we got Tennessee Titans. Only five picks in this year's draft. They didn't have that many picks last year, but got some good players. So maybe they'll trade back to gather more picks this year. I expect them to try to do that, but no trades in these. Again, going through every team, these are going to be coming out faster now. You know, earlier today, I had a updated regular three round mock draft. Now I got the Titan 7 round mock, and we're going to try to do two of these a day, get through them, and plenty more NFL draft content to come before and during the draft. We'll be live during the NFL draft, so should be a lot of fun. Subscriber goal is at 20K, at 15K now, thanks to, to the great support. So please help us get to 20K. We much appreciate if you click that subscribe button, clicking the like button, notification button. Also, would be fantastic. Let's get on to the Titans. Grade A mock, best case scenario here, but also realistic. I like Christian Wilkins for him. You know, very possible he can go earlier. He can go in the teens, somewhere in there. But it's also realistic he can follow the Titans. You know, I think they'll be looking at, you know, the two Clemson D tackles, possibly um, some other D linemen or pass rushers there. You know, maybe some just some wild card guys. They can go a line in the first. They can go tight end would be a big time wild card. I see people mock them tight ends. I'm not you know sold on that. Maybe if Hawkinson somehow falls, but I like Christian Wilkins here in the Grade A mock, guy that can move around in multiple different spots in the D line, and you know you like that he really gets after the quarterback too. So he's big time in the run game and the pass game, which I don't want to say is rare for D linemen these days. We're starting to see more and more of them that do this, but you know, it's hard to come across some good ones. Christian Wilkins is a good one, good one here. So Titans would love to have him here in the first round. Moving on to the second round, I really like Christian Miller here, another Christian. Uh, I like Miller for the Titans. Outside linebacker in their defense, 3 4. Just seems like a variable guy to me. You know, not a whole bunch of experience at the pass rush position. So with more time, he's got a high ceiling. You know, big time potential. Um, was hurt in the national championship game. Not concerned about the injury, but honestly kind of a good thing for him because the defense just did not look the same without him. You know, they really needed him in there. So, unfortunately, he couldn't play in that game, but not too worried about it. Uh, he's a playmaker, can stop the run, can get after the quarterback, needs some work, but that's a good thing too because with that work, with a guy like Vrabel, they, um, you know, he's got a lot of upside here. So, I do like Miller for the Titans in the second here. They could even trade back maybe a little bit. Can't get into the third, but and possibly get him. Um, so they will like Miller if he's there for them. I, I like him fitting in. You know, the future would be Miller and Harold Landry. I do like Harold Landry a lot too. So pretty good linebacker unit. They just need some outside guys. On to the next pick, third round. I got them taking Elgin Jenkins. Center slash guard for Mississippi State. I think he plays right guard for them. They get Saffo on the left side. Either they don't have Quentin Spain back. Which I'm surprised he hasn't been signed yet. And Josh Klein went to the Vikings. So Jenkins will be the right guard if he's there. He could be a second round pick, maybe a little earlier in the third. So best case scenario again. Um, but I think somewhat realistic here. I think he could be there. There's quite a few of these guys, center slash guards. Um, and, and, you know, pe some teams don't really like to take you know, these types of guys that early, I still view third round as early. So we'll see. He could be here. He could be a plug and play guy at the right guard position. So I expect that's what to be their that that will be their first three picks. I think it'll be I don't like going off need. You know, they kinda gotta go best available. But if it was going off need, I think D line, pass rush, and a guard would be their first three picks. I expect trades though. But on to the next pick, fourth round. I like Miles Boykin from Notre Dame I think this is uh you know their type of receiver for outside they got Humphreys for the slot Corey Davis on one side they got a couple other guys that could play but you know maybe just rotation guys is what they should be haven't really had the best receiver unit Boykin to me some similarities to Corey Davis maybe a poor man's Corey Davis as a prospect um, but he's got the size he knows how to get open he, he can run routes and very athletic at the combine. So a lot of upside there. Seemed to get more in shape, more athletic as this offseason went on. So I think they'll like that a lot. Um, pretty good production from Notre Dame. And, yeah, I think they'll like him in the fourth. He could possibly go third. He's really – he might be one of – since the combine till now, he might be the biggest riser in the entire draft. Pretty darn good receiver class too, so that's pretty impressive. I think it's just a guy they'll like. Very good hands too. Very good hands. Um from Miles Boykin so they will like him they definitely need another outside receiver 
opposite of Corey Davis. And we're going on to their last pick, kind of a short mock here. Um, I got them taking Kendall Sheffield, Ohio State corner, maybe known as possibly like a third rounder, maybe fourth before uh, tearing his pec. Um, not a long-term injury at all, so he should be good to go. Does need some work, though. Um, you know, I don't know if he'll be playing too much right away. I think this is more of his range, but he's very speedy, and I think he can play in the slot. You know, Logan Ryan's going to be a free agent next year. I think Kendall Sheffield could be the guy uh, that could play in the slot for them. Or Dory Jackson, I think, is better outside because of his speed. Uh, and they have Malcolm Butler, who started to pick it up at the end of last year, but a rough start of the first half of the year. Uh, so that, that's their outside guys. Logan Ryan's pretty darn good, but he's going to be a free agent. Will they be able to pay him on top of, you know, one of the free agent quarterbacks, Derrick Henry? Um, I think a couple right tackles are free agents. I imagine they get one of those quarterbacks back, Derrick Henry back, and one of those right tackles. But right tackle could be a need in this draft to look out for the future. But in terms of quarterback, it's very hard to predict what's going to happen with their two. So I don't think they draft one here. Maybe that'd be a wild card team. The Titans take quarterback. Problem with that is only five picks. So tough to do that. They have been looking at running backs, it seems like, in, in um, the visits with their visits and workouts. Maybe because they're, you know, they're ready for Henry to leave, but I think they'll get him back. They really liked him at the end of last year. They have the cap. Um, but I guess watch out for them taking a running back. I've seen some people say they're going to take a tight end. Maybe that's a possibility. Some people seem to think they need a corner earlier in this. I, I don't really think so, but we will see. Interesting team did a lot of trading up last year, possibly trading back this year, but I know they don't want to pass on some top-tier talent, which they could be in position to get. We'll see. We'll see. I think it's just really on the quarterback play or health for the Tennessee Titans this year. So we'll see what they do. Pretty good free agency. Let's see if they can nail the draft. But that's going to do it for this one. Going to rip through these. We're going to, we should be done. So the Titans today is April 2nd. And moving on from here, going to try to rip these out. Like I said, try to get through them a little faster than we have been doing them um, early next week. So today I'm talking right now on April 2nd, early next week. These should be done. We got plenty more draft videos to get to and live streams, and we'll be live during the draft. So lots of fun here at the Goat House. Appreciate everyone's support. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more. Goodbye.